Hey, Scott here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. So we're, we're wandering around the, the coral prison here. We found a junkyard. We're looking for the boss and Dane. I imagine the boss is going to be Dane since we're looking for two different people. And uh, the game wouldn't probably, probably would not do that. Make you find two different people. They're just going to make you find the one person. Um, I guess Barrett, you know, Barrett's got some beef with this guy. They both have, uh, they both have really awesome arms. But the guy's mad that he has the arm. Uh, it sounds like that Barrett is somewhat responsible for, uh, for causing this guy problems, and Barrett is also somewhat responsible for, <laughs> you know, the Shinra murdering everybody he has ever known and loved. It is mostly, um, it is mostly Shinra's fault, though. You know, Barrett, Barrett has no, no reason to blame himself for any of that. Man, this is brutal. Why would they send four of these things? Got a cure. Let's see if I can. All right. All right. Big shot. We'll hit him a big shot. And then, since they keep using it on me, I'm going to use it on them. An eye for an eye, if you will. Okay, let's hit him with fire two. That took out one of them. And Aerith will just finish this one off with fire two. That is a beautiful thing. Alright, so I'll just keep going through the junkyard here. Okay, here we go. Here's a cutscene. Alright, so... Dane. D Dane? Dane? I, I can't. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna call him Dave. Dane, is that you? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. He's limping too. That was probably probably also Shinra's fault. I always hoped I'd I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen to me. Uh, ooh. I don't know if that was me or if that was the game. What's that? I hear her voice. Oh, okay. What? Okay. I hear her voice. Eleanor's voice begging me. Not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Why do you want to kill those that ain't even involved? Why? Why the hell do you care for? Are the people killed going to understand why? Are the people of Coral going to understand just hearing Shinra's excuses? I don't care what the reason is. All they give us are art artillery and stupid excuses. What's left, what's, what's left is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? Alright, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. Well, okay. God. People in this game are dramatic. The people of this city... This city itself... It's not really a city anymore, let's be fair. The whole world. I got nothing left in this world. Coral, Eleanor, Marlene... Donna, Marlene. Marlene's al still alive. Hmm. I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. That is why I wanted to be by her, her side till the end. That's when I found her. I found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, alright? So, she's still alive. All right, Barrett. I guess that means you and I got to fight. No, it doesn't. 
What? Eleanor is alone all by herself. I've got to take Marlene to her. Uh, um, oh, jeez. This guy's got uh, this guy's got some problems. Marlene wants to see her mom, don't she? Stop, Dane. I can't die yet. Oh yeah? Well, my life's been over ever since then. Stop it! I don't want to fight you, Barrett. Cloud, you still you stay the hell out of it. This is my problem. All right, so we we really just we have Barrett Barrett alone. Let's start, start hitting him with some magic. So let's get him on fire too. Okay, two hundred damage. It's not bad. This guy does does some pretty good damage too. Um, all right, now I hit him with bolt too. This guy's gun arm is also much better than mine. All right, let's hit him with a, with a big shot, limit break, and then I gotta heal myself. Oh, jeez. Okay. High potion. High potion. Quick. Maybe I should have bought items from that bar guy. Nah, he was kind of a jerk. Alright, I'm going to use sense quick, even though I probably should be doing damage to him. Alright, level 23. He's only got 384 health left, so uh, one neat limit break should be enough to take him down. That's not fair. Why does he get more actions than I do? Okay, big shot. Okay, that should be the end, right? Did I do that math right? What the hell? Ugh. He's stumbling. Okay, cover leveled up. That's pretty good. Got a silver armlet. guy's intense. It wasn't just my arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where I went wrong. Dane, I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you, I, I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world, even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go to her now, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett? These hands are a little too stained to carry Marlene anymore. Barrett. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's, my wife's, memento. All right. Wow, Marlene's already four. Barrett, don't make, don't ever make Marlene cry. Dane. Dane! Nah, I'm not doing that one. Dramatic yell of the guy's name. Which actually rhymes with Dan. I should have done that one. Dane, me and you were the same. Oh, God. Is he just producing a rap album now? My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't be able to carry Marlene either. Oh, come on, Barrett. What the hell? English translators. Uh, now I have to make a rap song about Barrett. Look at the burden that they've given me.
You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta get the boss's permission, then win the chocobo. Dane's got his reasons and can't speak. So I got this instead. Yeah, bull. I want to go up. Right. Did you kill Dane? <laughs> you must have, or you'd never be holding that thing. So Dane's dead. Maybe now the place will calm down a little. Dane didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? R -r right. I mean, no, I don't know anything. S sorry. Then will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you. There's only one way to get the, the, uh, to get out of here. That's to win the Chocobo race, and that's held up there in Gold Saucer. And only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, really. Even if you are you threaten me, a rule's a rule. I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up, and I can't do that. Okay, okay. Why is it spelled differently? I'll let one go up there. After that, he's got to deal with Dio. All right then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. Yes, good luck, Cloud. Shrug. He shrugs. It's like, hey, you ever, you ever ridden chocobo before? Oh, once? Okay, go win a race. Have you decided? Alright, all you need now is a manager. And register and get a chocobo. Oh, God. Hi, I happen to hear your story. Esther? Okay, what is up with this guy? Girl? Lady? I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kind of funny, but there's no better manager in the races. Okay, good. She's not a cross-dresser. I was really afraid that this game would do that again. That's so rude. Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. I feel like I should be doing more voices in this. Alright then, Cloud. I'll send you up the elevator. Estel, Estel will fill you in on the details. Hmm. So that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for fame, some people compete for money. Some only for glory, and then there's people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Alright. Hmm. First, use the select button, and choose either auto or manual. In other words, either you control the chocobo or let it run on its own. But it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run while the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it doesn't listen. You can't really help on this one. Well, okay, get me a chocobo that likes me. What do you want, what do you want from my life? Uh, but most of the chocobos that'll provide you with are mellow, and you shouldn't be able, to, and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, use the square button to speed up. Use the X button to slow down. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it'll lose its stamina really fast. And use the directional button to move the chocobo left and right. Use the circle button to get a boost of speed. Of course, your stamina runs out faster though. There are some bad-tempered chocobos that can't play pace themselves, and they'll lose their stamina pretty fast. For these kind of chocobos, you should set the controls on manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the restless. Once, you fir once the first and second chocobo crosses the line, push the start button to end the race. Alright, so if I'm really far back, all I gotta do is hit the, hit the start button, and uh, game over. Everyone just turned to look at me. You knew? Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther, you're looking pretty pr pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. 
He's only been down here for a day, and already he made it up here? What? Oh, I see. So what did you do down there? Sorry, you're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. Okay. It's, it's a quick conversationalist. Then until we meet again, Cloud... I'm going to check on the chocobo. You just wait here for a while. All right, I want this. Ha ha, Romu. I, I'm kind of, kind of uh, a little annoyed that, that the only way you seem to be able to get uh, summons in this game is them leaving them randomly in rooms you will only ever enter once. Race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys for the next race please proceed to the pad, pa paddock? Paddock. I repeat. Hey, talk to me. I want to be bros. Do you want to be bros with me? Bro up. No, just, don't just phase through me. Be bros. Oh, fine. Fine. If you don't want to be bros, we don't have to be bros. But at least talk to me. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Cloud. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He won't lose easily. Oh, yeah. You know how to ride one? Uh, okay, let's just go over it one more time. First, you use the select button to use either auto or manual. In other words, you use the control. Okay, so yep. Yeah. All right, when you're riding, do square to speed up, X to slow down. Just note that I went too fast. And then circles the speed boost. Right? Okay. All right. Good. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna. S okay, speed up. All right, I'm, I, am I manualing? I seem to be manualing. Get that speed boost. Okay, I think we have the short track, so it should be fine. I don't know how far I am ahead, but I am ahead. Stamina gauge is looking pretty dire. But I am way out in front now. This was uh, this is really easy. This isn't really much of a challenge. Um, I guess maybe if I were to lose my stamina. Alright, there we go, victory. Why isn't why isn't that prison empty? I guess Dane didn't uh, didn't let that many people probably go up to even attempt to uh, to escape, huh? So Which would explain why the prison is so empty. Okay, race over. Victory Cloud. I'm the best chocobo racer in the world. Congratulations, now you're f home free. Oh yeah, the owner told me to give you this letter. To you, uh, to give you this letter to, to you when you won. Boy, if you're reading this letter, and then you must have won, and, and won a victory that I'm sure you've earned. I heard about Dane from Esther. Now that you are victorious, I promise that you and all your friends will get a full pardon, and you will all be set for that. Yeah, because it's it's that simple, just to let a bunch of prisoners out. Uh, and also, by way of apology, I prepared a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. Oh man, I expected someone else. But it was him. Dio. Cloud. Isn't this great? The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy for you. Now you can go over deserts and rivers, no problem. Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Hmm. The letter continues. P.S. I just recently met Sephiroth. He must have a lot of fans with boys your age. Why don't you get the, his autograph? 
it seems he's heading towards the south of the river towards uh, Gang Gongaga. Really, is that, is that what the word I have to say for the next hour? Gongaga, Gonga, Gonga, Gongaga, Gongaga, Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own choke race chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. I'll see you. See you again. All right, let's switch out. Let's switch to Tifa for a while. Tifa hasn't gotten much love. All right, how to drive the buggy. Press the OK button to get on. Press the cancel button to get off. Buggies can now cross shallow rivers and deserts. You can even enter Costa de Sol and Juon uh, uh, by buggy by hitching a ride on the cargo ship. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. I'm just riding around in the buggy. Wow, they really, uh... We put that gold saucer in the middle of nowhere. Where was the mountain that I came down? Right there? So I took the cable car all the way from the mountain to get the gold saucer. And, oh, I can still get into fights in the buggy. I did not, uh, did not realize that. There's a back attack. Good. So, uh, we go. Oh, okay. Ble beam blade. I should take it. Oh, oh no! I should have healed. Oh, and she doesn't have any, any level two spells. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, I need Aerith. I really should have Aerith. She would heal me by now. I have to get better materia for uh, for Tifa. I'll steal it from from Aerith. I should I should strip everybody before I. Oh no, Bart's dead again. Okay, let me just, uh, and I gotta use another Phoenix down, and get some high potions in here. Alright, so the, so I'm supposed to go south, right, so I think I can only cross from the, like, the shallow river here. Alright, and it looks like this place right here is probably where I need to go. Alright. I'm not scared of these guys. Tifa's at limit break, that's gonna be pretty easy. I'll just, I'll use Barret Fire 2 to take care of these guys. Alright, boom, hit, and yeah. Alright, I got a yeah. See, I just gotta say it, and then I'll get it. That's how, that's how that works. Alright, let's do Beat Rush. Gong, that sounds pretty awesome. All right, so I guess before we go into Gang, Gongaga, Gang, 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 whatever it's called, uh, I'm gonna save up and um, probably use a tent at this point. Can I use a tent while in the buggy? Uh, I can't. So use a tent, save it up, and we'll come back uh, next time on my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII.